Okay, all right. So this is uh, the e the easiest way to get the best quality out of EasyCap. So basically, the program I use is a uh, CyberLink PowerDirector. This is CyberLink PowerDirector 11, and basically, it's hundred dollars I think, but you can get cracked version like easily. Just look up on YouTube how to get PowerDirector uh, cracked or for free. Now, ULED Studio, which comes with it, kind of sucks balls, so I do not use that one, and it's, like, basically not, uh, hard to get good quality, but it's not that easy. As, um, and also, here's a shit ton of files. That is for Virtual Dub and Huffy, which is basically just a fucking, uh, compressor, but Virtual Dub is basically a lot of people use to get extremely good quality, and, uh, yeah, it didn't work worth shit. I'll show you real fast what, I, what it came out like. Virtual dub test. <coughs> Is it gonna fucking load? Alright. upside down and there's green and like a bunch of extra bullshit so I'm going to delete virtual dub and all this crap afterwards um, so basically you get back into this so you're gonna want power director this is power director 11 basically you just want to go to capture all right so it's probably gonna go to your microphone first maybe I don't fucking know but um, basically once you get your shit plugged in you want to go over here to capture from the TV signal and just so you guys know, I'm using a standard AV cables, which make it like worse quality than it could be. Like you could get better quality with an SD, uh, fucking SD shit. But I'm not fucking gonna buy an extra cable just so I can get a little better quality because I really don't give a shit. But uh, of course, this is gonna make your quality amazing. Like if you're using virtual dub, but. I mean, it's a lot simpler and easy, and you go through a lot less bullshit, and you can just produce it right to YouTube if you really want to without editing. So, basically, what you're gonna want to do is go to profile, and probably press new. But for me, since I already have my shit on, I'm just press edit, and then you're not gonna do anything with your profile shit. Um, video. All right. So if you have a really fast computer, you're probably gonna put it at 1080. Um, my computer is decent, so I basically just put it at 720, and so I don't get really any lag. Um, your bitrate's gonna be different on how high you can put it if you use 1080. As as you see, it is a maximum, of, uh, the, the same maximum amount, but you're not gonna be able to go lower. So um, basically, I just keep it at 720 with an average the same as the maximum, so I can get the best. Uh, bitrate out of it and then smoothing you want to have noise removal I don't have and then your quality bar you're gonna want to put it all the way up to the highest quality because why the fuck wouldn't you but anyways go to audio and make sure your audio compression rate is at 256 um, basically if you do, do some different audio shit then you can fuck this but I'm not going to because I'm not going to so just press ok and basically settings you're not gonna really fuck with um, unless you have S-Video, then you're gonna wanna go to press S-Video, but like I said, I don't have fucking S-Video. So, basically none of this you're gonna really wanna fuck with. And, now, all you have to do is hit record. And I am getting a little bit of lag, but that's because I have Bandicam on here. Um, when I don't have Bandicam, uh, if I don't have Bandicam up and running, it's not gonna look like it's not gonna be laggy whatsoever, um, and my computer's not very good either. I, I only, it's 2.2 gigahertz. I got two gigabytes of RAM, and basically, it's a laptop. So it's like you could put the settings on higher if you really want to, but also you could put it at just standard definition 480 instead of 720. And I don't even know if it'd really change it much. All right, so basically, when you're done with the video, it should go into your captured content right here. 
Oh, and if you're wondering why it says Bandicam up here somewhere, I don't know where the fuck it's gonna be, but it's just up here. That's because I'm using Bandicam, and uh, I don't have the full version, because I'm poor as fuck. So basically, it's gonna come up right here, and what you wanna do is click on it, press Fix and Enhance, come up, you piece of shit. Alright, so, click, oh, by the way, mine's cracked, so it's gonna run a little slower, but, um, you're gonna wanna put your video enhancement all the way up to 100, it basically improves the sharpness, and the color. As you see, I'll put compare and split screen view so you can see the difference. As you see right here, it looks much better on the right. So, And also, that's basically it, but if you want to go to color adjustment, you can focus on this shit if you really want to or need to, but I'm not going to because I don't really need to. So you might want to put your sharpness up. I only put it on 10 or so, or 15. I'll just put it on 15. Basically, it makes little things clearer, but if you have the sharpness up too much, it'll make lines and shit look kind of bad. So, it, it all depends on basically what game you're recording. So, I'm just going to put it like on 11. And basically, open this up on full, full screen. I'll show you what the difference is after you do that little editing that takes 5 fucking seconds. It makes a hell of a difference between this. You see it's pretty damn blurry. And this looks okay. So, basically... That's all it is. So, and now all you're gonna do is click produce. And it's gonna take a long ass amount of fucking time, apparently. And basically, your uh, format, just leave it. Leave all this shit here. Same. I see you really wanna fuck with it, but I don't think you should. Quality 720 because I recorded in 720. Um, and basically, you can just press start and put it into your computer, or you can click online and upload it straight to YouTube, or Facebook, or whatever the fuck these are. So, basically, that's it, and, um, I'll show you the quality right now.